Today I'm looking at TikToks that make me disappointed for humanity. Yeah, I'm really running out of ideas here. There's really no theme, no catch at all. No catch here, just looking at the oh cringiest God, TikTok no. has to offer. I'm gonna be going into these subreddits right here. Hopefully they don't crash and burn before I edit this. But anyways, let's jump right into the video. Ah. Do you think that makes it right? I, I think that men should be careful of the women that they encounter. I think everybody should be careful. Yeah, no, if you pop into the cut like that, all right, they already know there's about to be some beef. He's a knight defending his queen, bro. Watch this. Watch. He's going to be like, um, excuse me. What are you doing? No one pops into the cut like that and is totally normal. Like, dead ass, bro, just like popped in. We're kind of busy right now. I think men should always That's have great. representation. That's great. We're, we're kind of busy right now. Is it okay? Sure. Uh, you're not taking advantage, though. What is this dude talking about? They're just having a conversation, bro. What What the hell is this guy even talking about here? This is like a tier three sub in the flesh, bro. I didn't think those those specimens went outside. I'm not. What are you? I'm not. We're having a conversation. Okay, cool. Right. So women should have all the respect. Okay, that's great. Could you? Two men and two men who are interviewing. And I think he's just jealous, guys. I think that's all it is. They're just having a conversation. He saw that this guy, the goat right here, I actually really like his channel. And this guy, Jen, right here, is having a conversation with a woman. And, of course, I think this guy's butt hurt. The other dude's butt hurt. He's like, ah, grr, I want to be talking to the queen, grr. He's furious. And he heard, like, a sort of debate going on. So he's like, back off from my queen. Any women should always respect the, uh, okay. boundaries of... Okay. So, no, you want to get out of here? Really attractive. Okay. Um, Brother, we're... No, no one cares. Can I? Can I? Okay, now bro's just deep throwing the mic now. Like, what sane person just fucking grabs the mic? It like it's it like it, you're putting it in a fucking chokehold. What is this dude doing? I don't even know. Even the girls confused as hell. This guy's probably like zooted out of his mind or something. Hit it! right <sighs> you're at the is this like by the self-checkout bro oh my god the, the line at self-checkout is always crazy and you're over here making the line longer and doing whatever type of shimmy this is like bro no one is just gonna find this funny you're just being a fucking nuisance like i don't even know who's laughing right now like there's a difference if you go in there and and people actually uh, crack a smile but no the, <laughs> the poor workers had to witness whatever the hell that was <laughs> I don't know how that got 84,000 likes, bro. Because there's no way any of you cracked a laugh at that, bro. Like, right? And I can't be the only one that just stood there straight-faced. I don't know, maybe like one person. And it's probably because you thought of something funny other than this. Or you're just laughing at how stupid it is. I hope you have fun with that city guy that showers before work, dresses nice, drives that fancy car, and fucks with the socks on. Damn, bro goes in with the dogs out. Woo! Uh, nah, but seriously, though. That's how you can tell this dude, he's got that dog in him. Because he's got the dogs out. Anyways, how how do you diss showering, though? Like, he, like, you act like it's a bad thing. Like, oh, yeah, those motherfuckers that shower every morning. Oh, my God. Shawty, you're gonna want the real man must. Now, I don't know what this dude is on about. Like, the must behind that camera must be insane if he's dissing some city work guy for showering. But, yeah, I guarantee you... A girl would want a man that showers and doesn't smell bad and chooses not to shower and yeah make this video instead like the time you used to make this video you could have taken a shower already having fun quad practice with my Therian fiance but realizing he looks miserable Damn, what the f- What did you do to this man? That's tough. I mean, yeah, you know what? My life would be pretty depressing if I was just outside, just holding a stick all day, so my fiancé can just fucking jump over it on all fours. Yeah, that, that you know what? That that would make me depressed. You know, that, that would just, like, kill my motivation, and I would- I, I don't think I would enjoy life.
And on top of that, his knees are probably like fucking crying for help right now because of how long he's got to sit out there. Who even knows how long he's been in that position right there? I need a coffee that tastes like a uh, lot of Dore. Maybe with uh, cinnamon or cherries and wine. Lana Del Rey. Yeah, that girl is not having it, bro. I would not be working at Starbucks now, bro. Like, me personally, I would have picked a different job, bro. I don't know how the hell people who work at Starbucks, if any of you work at Starbucks, please tell me this. How do you remember the goddamn orders? Like, there's people ordering whole-ass, like, Mortal Kombat complex combos out here. Like, I don't know how y'all remember all this stuff. And then you got now you got this dude who wants a Lana Del Rey coffee? I'm so confused. And that Andy singing, too? <laughs> Yeah, we know the Lana Del Rey, but we're not hoping. You can make something like Lana. Yes, yes, yes. They they don't get paid enough for this. Like you see it on that girl's face, like what the f like I don't know how you make a coffee taste like Lana Del Rey. You know what? Like seriously, what the hell? Which size do you have? Not grande, not <laughs> Del Rey. Yeah, that made me mad uncomfortable, bro. I don't know what that was. He like plotting or something. Looks like that one old dude from The Simpsons plotting. If I find it, I'll play the clip. Here. And he's even got the slick back hair. All you gotta do is just age this man like 50 years and it'll look like him. This dude's gotta be like a crazy obsessed stan. Like insanely obsessed with Lana Del Rey. If, if... In my tea. Lana Del Rey. <laughs> it's so Lana Del Rey vinyl. Bro really went up there and said, can I have a coffee that tastes like Lana Del Rey? Like, bro, no one's looking at you with a with straight face. They're all gonna look at you like you're crazy, bro. That is that is not no Lana Del Rey. That is some goddamn regular cinnamon raspberry coffee. Bro's hitting some notes in the middle of Starbucks. Yeah, man, that, that, really, that really could not be me. Yeah, I'm sure he got weird looks from other customers, too. We haven't seen any yet, but I think we can guarantee 100% confirm that he was. But uh, uh, I met uh, I met a girl who's a streamer. I went up to her, I hugged her. Okay, okay, I see you. All right. Sim gets his first hug, all right? Bro's like bragging like it's a crazy thing. Like, guys, I got my first hug. All right, but let's hear the, let's hear the story. I, I need to hear the rest of this. And I came in my pants. Wow. Hug your You what? Uh, over a hug? This dude is smiling fucking teeth and gums. I already know that he is, I mean, I guess he's so proud of this, bro. <laughs> how? I would've like, I don't even know. I would've just like stopped existing if that happened to me. I don't know how you're not absolutely embarrassed and then you're just telling people like it's, like it's like the best thing that's ever happened to you. Like, what the hell, bro? I think you need to get laid a little more often, <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I was just saying, I, I concur. Was she hot, though? Was she, like, super-duper-duper hot? Yeah. Like, I mean, it's yeah. forgivable if she was super-duper-duper hot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, got it. That makes sense if she was super-duper-duper-duper-duper hot. All right, it, it's all good, but... If, you're, if she was only super hot, then nah, nah, we ain't chillin'. Yeah, I don't care if she looks like goddamn Gorlock the Destroyer or Livy Dunn. If you do that, you are on a whole new plane of down bad. This is like a whole new dimension of down bad that we've never seen in our lives before. I never thought I'd hear that leave someone's mouth. Fucking insane. Hey, give me one hand. Another one. Now go on your knees. We're in public. Mouth for me. So embarrassing. Do it now. Bro, what is people's obsessions with barking and meowing for each other, bro? I swear to God. I just saw a TikTok where someone got down on their hands and knees and started barking at the beach. Like, what is going on with the Do world right now. now? Now you see why I titled the video as I did. Because my face is just straight disappointment, embarrassment, and shame. Like, bro, if there was any other species on this planet that was able to consume TikToks, I'd be like, wow, humans are fucking dumbasses. That's what they would say because that's all they see because somehow, some way, these get boosted on the For You page. I don't get how people like this shit, bro. I blame the the guy. I blame the guy in the last clip. I, I, that's who I blame. There's just just definitely another like a hundred thousand hymns out there who just like liked the video. He just cloned himself like thousands of times so we could like the video. Since V-Day is coming up, we thought we'd remind our boyfriends how lucky they are. This better not be an edit. Three, two, one, go.
All right, every single one of and every single one of the boyfriends, bro. I would fucking break up with them right now. Like, bro, they just dissed your looks in front of all of TikTok. Personally, I wouldn't be taking that disrespect. I'm at the Sly for Vaughn for that one. I have to get it back in blood by saying we're done. All I see is four chads, bro. Four kings. Like, look at the drip. Like, that's all I gotta say. Look at the drip. Look at the Santa suit, bro. Is dripping. Like, if I was them, I would break up right now because. If you won't even find me attractive, then why the fuck are you with me? Like, it just doesn't make sense. And if you're about to diss my looks on TikTok, then nah, get out of here. Like, you got kicked out the cribbo for real. Number one, just because you haven't seen them doesn't mean they don't exist. That's just your own confirmation bias. Excuse me. Nah, this dude, your average Discord moderator. What the? And just judging by the background, that is one greasy looking basement. The only thing you're a victim to is them Travi patties, bro. Those Travis Scott burgers at McDonald's. I know you're consuming those on the daily. I know you're consuming Nick Avocado level mukbangs out here. So, I have a little bit of a thingy for you. He's got something for us, the viewer. Oh my god, is it a gift? I I'm so excited. I don't know about you guys, but I'm hyped up right now. <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, I have it somewhere in here. <laughs> he just flipped me off. Oh, no. My life's over. Guys, <laughs> it's over. Discord moderator Danny just flipped me off. It's over. I think I just got to pack my bag, say goodbye to my career. Gentle rant. Kind misgendering. What? It looks like you're about to cry right now on some, like, Nick Avocado breakdown type. So I was just picking up my vehicle from an oil change and the person came out of the garage and said, what can I do for you, young lady? And I know that this was intended to be a greeting of respect and kindness or politeness maybe, but I had this immediate like, okay, young, maybe comparatively, I'll take it. Yes, because they did intend kindness. It's not that deep. It's kind of like if someone were to pronounce my name wrong, I would just correct them. But really, how is he gonna know? Like, he can't just read your mind, bro. Like, what do you expect him to have some, like, telekinesis level powers and be able to read your mind? What do you do with that when someone, like, has the best of intentions and I don't really want to spend all of my spoons trying to educate someone at the Costco car center? Mm. What do you mean by all of your spoons? Huh? I I'm so confused. But the rant you just did in your car for, like, 40 seconds, that was the most pointless rant on the planet. Like, bro, so Someone just made a simple mistake and you're gonna be over here hyper analyzing it. It's definitely not worth a TikTok rant and it was definitely not that big of a deal. Like it was a kind gesture. Like well, why do you care? Like you cannot live your life walking on eggshells. It's like a horrible, horrible lifestyle. Don't overthink mistakes. Don't like think about it for like 30 minutes or whatever. Just move on. <laughs> This is Ella Zesty dream. That this is not it, bro. Just watch the stands eat this up. That, that's all I'm gonna say. That's gotta be the zestiest TikTok I've seen all day. Hey, you got some W shoes though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm fucking with the green J's. But I mean, me personally, I'm not a mids kind of guy. But still, this TikTok was not it. He asked me to slap him as hard as possible. Oh my god. He felt the touch of a woman. You know what? I'm so proud of you. He did it with that greasy haircut of his too. Like that that that's an added plus. We're about to get knocked the fuck out. Watch this. <laughs> Oh, okay, that was pretty anticlimactic. I thought he was gonna, like, fall to the floor or something. Something crazy was about to happen, but, um, you already know, he loved every second of that. And I would not love any seconds in that goddamn building. Cause I already know it smells like a goddamn bounce house. Or like a Chuck E. Cheese ball pit that some kid threw up in. It definitely, <laughs> it definitely smells that bad, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna have to keep it a buck. That shit smells like Chuck E. Cheese on steroids, for real. I will Yeah, this can't be. I, I hope I'm, I'm dreaming right now. Like, I hope I'm seeing things. But, bro, you really had to make a TikTok dance with your relative in the hospital. Nah, you're, you're crazy. Nah, but genuinely, there, there's something wrong. There's something wrong upstairs. Up in the dome piece. And she looks like a complete Twitter user, too. Never logs off social media ever. Always on there 24-7. Clearly, no one greenlit this video because no human being on this planet besides yourself, apparently, would greenlight this video to go up. Genuinely, what the hell, dude? My name's Four. Four like the number? Exactly like the number. I'd rather have the name Bartholomew than the number four. That's pretty disrespectful. Your parents did you dirty. What happened? One through three were taken? <laughs> One through three were taken, guys. Yo, you got me falling on my chair with that. Wow.
<laughs> yeah, this music's definitely gonna get me copyrighted, bro. I'm gonna have to, like, speed this up or something. Like, are they really trying to get, like, that club setting going, bro? Like, if this was playing in the club, nah, I'm leaving. All my DJs out there, you better be playing some hood classics or else. Listen, the first lesson you learn from me, if you want to survive here, just keep your mouth shut. Okay, I don't even know what this was. Th th this was. This has got to be like the weirdest skit of all time. I'm not even gonna lie, bro looking devious at the end. He looks like he's seen some shit. But bro really got heated over a pun. That's crazy. Apparently, only people with Sigma can get over 900. And nobody has more Sigma than me! Nah, but uh, have you seen this guy, Andrew Skate? Nah, I think he's got more Sigma than you. I think he's got you beat. I think bootleg Andrew Tate's got you beat, bro. No! I have Sigma! You guys don't! Don't worry, I got you with the remaining 50. I I'll help you get 50 more Sigma points by putting in money so big instrument. Slowed and Reaver. And then you'll be the top dog, the top Sigma. Makeup inspired by mental disorder part five? Okay, nah, this shouldn't even exist. This series shouldn't even exist, bro. And then, yeah, autism. Oh my god. This series shouldn't have even exist at all. The fact that this made it to five parts is crazy. Like, it just should be part zero. Like, this shouldn't even be on the internet at all. Like, it's just disrespectful as shit, bro. And who even wanted more? I don't know who wanted more videos of this, but you're crazy. Like, th there's gotta be something wrong upstairs. Like, the light switch ain't on, or I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's just, like, AI generated or something. Like, you you've made in a factory, and you say, part two, please. Hi, bro, shut up. Being an energy vampire means you're toxic. God, I wish I had a vampire boyfriend. Bite me, Vladdy. Yo, whoa. Yeah, I can guarantee you nobody is saying that. You're looking like Walmart Eddie Munson right now, bro. Maybe you'll have those Eddie Munson stands, but nobody else. Action, but I promise that I won't be... Nah, not the wink at the end, too. No, that, that, that just made it 10 times cringier. Like, look at his devious-ass face. Like, it, it just makes me scared. Like, th this video just scared me. Like, he looks like he's about to enter his Joker arc or something. The secret all right, five seconds in, I'm already confused, bro. Why is Buddy from Elf staring at me like that? He looks like Will Ferrell, though, for real. Your body on my mind, got a taste for the cherry. Nah, bro did the little chin scratch. Nah, he's about to riz up. Yo, riz up right now. You better hit like a Category 5 natural riz or else it's over. I just need to take a bite. Nah, hello there? Nah, you're crazy for that. You're talking like you're not even from the planet. Hello there, Earthling. I'm Dylan. Nah, that's seriously some negative riz, though, for real. First of all, you're making a TikTok pretending you're rizzing up a girl, bro, or you're meeting someone's friend. Like, bro, come on. Hey, babe, I got your frosting. Oh, thanks. Mm-hmm. <gasps> you know <laughs> Nah, there's no way that duel would intentionally ruin his wife's cake. That, that's gotta be staged. We're on that topper guild timing for real. Nah, but he was about to start laughing like the Joker. I already know, but the video cut off, but we all know he did. There's no need for the rest of the video, because I already know he was la laughing like a mastermind villain after he just poured frosting on a cake. Like, whoa, dude, you're, you're such a villain. For dumping frosting on your wife's cake for a stage prank, bro. You should enter your villain arc, for real. I think he's officially become Himothy Jones. What, what are we thinking? God damn, that was a long video. Anyways, comment go if you made it this far. Thank you for watching up to this point. If you have, you're, you're a real one. Anyways, thank you to my channel members, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.